One of the best ways to impress your preceptor in the operating room is to whip out a research study. Now, our textbooks are often 10 to 20 years behind what's actually happening in real time in medicine, okay? And it can also help provide a lot of extra context that you might not always get from your reading. Lung decortication. This is a case I just did recently. This was a retrospective cohort study, but they did find that 27% of their patients required a post-op ICU admission, which is a pretty good chunk of your patient population. 32% of these patients also needed a blood transfusion postoperatively. 13% of the patients were transfused with greater than three units, which meant that they had a significant blood loss. 22% of them also required postoperative vasopressors. So this helps you prepare your mind for some of the things you might see in the OR and afterwards so you can prepare accordingly. Pain management was a significant issue for these patients. 68% of them required a PCA. For our case, we opted for an epidural catheter, and I'm really glad we did it because we were able to keep our patient relatively comfortable in the post-op period. We did end up placing an arterial line for our patient right from the get-go. We did not need to use a central line, thankfully. We did use some vasopressors, but we did not need to continue them in the post-operative period, but we were prepared for anything. Surgery is constantly evolving, and therefore so is anesthesia. You're not gonna be able to find a prepared plan for every single case and every single anesthetic on the internet. So that is why it is so important to constantly be pulling up articles and constantly be reading. You need extra context.